Yo, man, we back with another video. What is going on? Got some beautiful ladies, man. This is Sukana, return of the dog, man. Y'all love CJ the Chimp. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. What's up? It's your girl, Princess Sienna, also known as Baby C, the big one, not the little one. My TikTok is Baby C Alive. My Instagram is Princess.Sienna, and my YouTube is Princess Sienna. Make sure you follow and subscribe. I will be posting more this month. Oh, shit. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> I'm just you trolling the hell out of you. I just trolled the hell out of you. What's good to you guys? It's your girl, Destiny Nathasia. You can follow me on TikTok at Destiny Nathasia. That's D-E-S-T-Y-N-E-E-N-A-T-H-A-S-I-A. -E 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 and then for Instagram, make sure you put an underscore in front of it. It's your girl, Gabby. If you didn't know, y'all can find me on YouTube at Gabriel with two E's, Nicole. It's your girl, Christina Molina. You can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at Christina Molina with an X. Hey, y'all. What's up? I am my honey snacks. And you can add me on whatever you're on because that's where I'm at. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cassie G, C A S S I space G. Then after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The f is this Brock Kuna shit? <laughs> Get this shit out my face. Damn, he crushed the phone like that? <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, back to the Shibuya Trials round two. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, and it starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of pure dog. This is the dog! He is one of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth. And his ignorance knows no bound. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and it is now okay. time for the return of the dog. But without further ado, so y'all know this nigga. Oh, I did know. Him. She know. I've, I've seen a couple of his videos. I've seen a couple of his videos. I just started watching Christina. that too. Not watch anime. I don't know him. Christina. That's all I'm gonna say. You said you watch anime, you don't know who this character is. Who I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, yeah. I've never watched Jujutsu Kaisen, so don't be I don't a know who this me. nigga is either. <laughs> no cap. But I've seen him before, though. I've oh seen God, him before. I killed my voice on that shit. Exhibit A. Ryomen Suku. A tyrant in the Jujutsu world dated all the way back to a thousand years ago, once a human turned into the King of Curses. He was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog-ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Okay. Until a 15-year-old boy decided to deep throw one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash once again. And now we're here. Deep 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 <laughs> nigga, I ain't gonna say no diddy. I'm gonna say all the way diddy, nigga. That's all the way diddy. <laughs> no cow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Exhibit A. The calm before the storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past. And I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident. And now it's finally time. But since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this home. Three, two, one, go. is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass, disgusting ass finger, therefore bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one shotting a cursed spirit. But later on, Gojo pops up and sadly whoops his ass. He fully embarrasses bro, to I be know, honest. Know like, he, he literally sat on the nigga and Sukuna takes a L. Next, Sukuna fights a cursed womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on his face, ripping off Yo. his arm, then proceeds to use Malevolent Shrine and shish kebabs the nigga. 
Shortly after that, he decides to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire city. Hitting him with aerial after aerial, then spiking him through a fucking hotel. And finally, violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body as hostage. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost forgot. He made Mojito shit his pants. Bro touched his soul and said, don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. Know your place trash. <laughs> then damn near killed him and put bro on his knees and made him wallop in excruciating pain. Yeah. And now we've caught up to the present. And with all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'm gonna just say is this man's final ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. We now move on to October 31st, 2018 on the gruesome mm -hmm. night of the Shibuya incident. We will now be observing these two dumb ass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. What the fuck are you dumb ass hoes doing? Like seriously, did you think this plan was not gonna go south? But then Jungle comes sprinting down the hallway like, what the hell is going on here? Wait, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my God, we're gonna tell you. Yeah, back the fuck up, fuck face. So Jogo decides to just burn him, walk over to Ichidori's body, and pulls out 10 fingers, and he says, the streets say you're the throat goat, little nigga. So go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound crazy, but Jogo shoves two fingers, fingers down this nigga's throat. Like, bruh, that shit is just nasty as fuck. And this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But nah, somehow mm -hmm. this girl survived. So Jogo's about to burn him again. But right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? You have zero point zero one seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. Those men juggle bags up fast as fuck. And these niggas is shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my god, oh my god, girl, oh my god. Then Jogo's all ugly ass looking at him like, oh Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells him, hoes and bastard on your knees now. And they drop to their knees fast as hell while bro threw an air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the cha-cha slide, bro said, how low can you go? Can you go down low? What the fuck? Stop playing. So then he asked the girls first, all right, what the fuck y'all want? And this little girl is having a panic attack. She crying and shit. She don't know what to say. And Sukuna in the background like, come on now, hurry up, ho. Time's a wasting. So she ends up asking him to save Ghetto from a certain person controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But you start seeing their backstory, bruh. And y'all know damn well what happens when you start hearing some emotional last music with a damn backstory playing in the background. So Sukuna says, yeah, I raise your heads. So they raise their heads. This nigga decapitates oh, this bitch. Oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, these hoes are stupid as shit. And the other girl screaming like, oh my God. Oh my God. And this man's like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. So she tried to hit him with her selfie ball. Oh. She like, I'm about to put you on Twitter and cancel your ass. But the bro just slices off her frontal lobe and she gets put in a blender. And after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this fraud Kuna shit? Get this shit out my face. Wow. So then he turns to Jogo and asks, all right, what wow. you want? So Jogo says, well, um, how does she do all that by just taking a selfie <laughs> of this nigga? I don't understand how she must have did that shit fast as hell. To be honest, I just want to stop uh, with you. Uh, well, you know, niggas been calling you a fraud coon lately. Okay, where the fuck did this shit come from? <laughs> Twitter. So Sukuna ends up making a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Nigga, this was a generational ass whooping. Bro started beating the shit out of this nigga, chopping up his arms, blocking every punch, cutting off his fingers, then threw him across the city like a rag doll, then hammer fists his head through the fucking ground. They only been fighting for like 20 seconds. Bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on. Crack that 
and just starts flooding everything with magma. He's got the whole city looking like Crisis City right now. And got Sukuna's ass tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. But bro busts out of it, posing, thinking he's Jesus. So Jogo's like, where did he go? And Sukuna comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever animated this little split second, nigga, you cooked. So bro slams him through the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass like a basketball. And Jogo's just floating in the air thinking, oh my God, this nigga's not a fraud. Bro just palms his face and just starts slamming him through this damn skyscraper. Dear God, nigga, this shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Teeth missing and everything. This man Sukuna was talking hella shit. He said, wow, when the moonlight's shining on you, it really shows how pussy you are. So then he ends up picking up his body and tells him, nigga, you ain't shit. Now I'm going to keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my God, I can't do this shit no more, nigga. So then Sukuna ends up doing Dang, some of the most petty. Am I tripping? Because I thought that was the nigga, the same nigga off uh, Monsters, Inc. He low-key do. <laughs> it's the same though. <laughs> 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 so this man skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog while Jogo's chasing him with a meteor. And meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius. But while they run, and Sukuna comes in and stops them. And he got everybody shook. So he said, All right, everybody, let's play a game. We're gonna play the motherfucking squid game. Red light, okay. green light, nigga. You do not move until I say green light. Okay. <laughs> Please. Don't Yo. move. Green light. Oh. Oh, nah, green this light, is just though. petty. Bro is really out here just playing with his food. So Jogo thinks he hit him. But Sukuna's just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. Bro basically said, Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, aim labs is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Jogo. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen with this damn fire bow and started to have a high noon old Western standoff. And what's funny about this? They don't even show the shot. This instantly goes into Jogo's head and he's talking to his dad. Dead friends like guys i'm sorry the allegations were false goes no fraud. so then sukuna's just looking at him from the back and he tells him stand proud you are nigga. <laughs> he, he acknowledged me yeah. and then it just cuts to jogo spreading corpse i go gonna lie i feel bad for bro bro really got thrown like a rag doll and beaten to a pulp in his last like five minutes of life this shit should be a trial. A trial. Two. Exhibit A wrap up. Murder. Murder. Attempted murder. Invasion of privacy. Attempted murder. 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 Mass property damage. Exhibit B. Yeah, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Exhibit B. And what might be the most outrageous Exhibit B I've ever done? Collateral damage. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. It is now time to observe the fight with Maharaga and how Sukuna once again decided to play with his food. So they start fighting and Sukuna's already popping off on his ass, cutting them up and everything, but then they go flying. And this motherfucker walks out drinking a diet coke and just chopping on some popcorn. But bro is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels and he just eating the popcorn like, oh, lad, this is disgusting. No salt, no butter for $15? Ugh, must be from AMC. The bro gets mad as hell and just continues to bully Maharaga. Bro, cutting him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. And look at the JoJo reference. These boys is cooking. Then after Sukuna wins the clash, he wraps Bro up and throws him into another building. So as we can see, Sukuna's whooping this thing's ass. Like Bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In Newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. 
because oh my god you know what pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone because we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch we just gonna try to estimate and tally up how many people die in this fight starting off boom they go flying into this room let's get the counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced up, and Sukuna just blows up the room. Twelve Damn. already dead. Blood stains everywhere, and he's putting Maharaga on his ass. And then this is how you can see that Sukuna's just fucking around this entire fight. This nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerials, and grabs the crane, turns into Tarzan, and drop kicks him. And with that <laughs> single kick, the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this. It's a literal car avalanche going on right now. And look at all these people in the frame. I count 14 people in this frame, and that is a poor, innocent little girl hanging on to her mother. And you know damn well they ain't make it out that. Add 14. Next, this whole building is falling down and these people are hanging off for their life. This nigga's grip strength is ass and he falls off. And I Damn. estimate there is at least 25 people on that roof. And look at the building falling. You know they did. And then this is where this starts to get really OD. So Maharaga hits Sukuna with a train and throws him all the way into this building. And while he's on his ass, Sukuna jumps up and splits the entire building in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Dead. Bro, just split this entire row of buildings. That's at least 100 bodies, man. And this is where we start to see the chaos on a full scale. Maharaga threw a building at this man, and he cut it into pieces while sitting on a traffic light and just started making the debris just rain while he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this, bro. Did This is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? Ooh, I know Boeing is having a fit right now. And if that is what I think it is, a Boeing 737, and it was at full capacity, that's about 200 bodies, bro. Gone. And look what Sukuna does to this man. Bro said, Get back, nigga! And the entire city is being sliced up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Bro's finally done playing with his food again. So he ends up activating Malevolent Shrine. And before he even shoots, you just look at all these people, bro. Just about to have a gruesome fate. These poor girls are here like, oh my God, girl, what is all that noise? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me check Twitter. Oh my God, girl, they dropped the GTA 6 trailer. Yes, bitch. Oh, but sadly, name. these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna uses Damn. Malevolent Shrine and just washes Maharaga. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just evaporated. And this nigga's just smiling like, oh yes. Burn, baby, burn. And then Sukuna finally finishes Maharaga off. Bro hit him with that thug and wipes this fucking place off the map. So after Sukuna just made a crater and caught shit, I don't know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya crossing. So I don't know, man. Nigga, I'm gonna just say a thousand bodies, bro. And then after this, Haruta's dumbass thinking he survived like, oh my God, I get to see another day. And just get split. <laughs> oh. Bro really thought he was a main antagonist. So after this, Sukuna continues to be petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole he walks over to the crater and is like yeah this will do let the little nigga see what i did and swaps back out with yuji and just traumatizes the kid made the little nigga just have a whole breakdown and i know he's just laughing inside of his head like enjoy it kiddo now play that good shit <laughs> <laughs> and with that jesus man tally up the damn score And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the Shibuya trials. And since y'all showed insane support on that last video, I had to There we go, there we go. What y'all think about bodies that? On bodies on bodies. I don't know what? if I'm gonna watch it. I know what they expect now. I was like, yeah, yeah. I like it. It was cool. A lot of fingers and dead bodies. <laughs> pretty much. That's, that's pretty much what I got. Like, the gist of this, like, you got the dude swallowing, like, what, 13, 12, 13 fingers? Yeah. I think Trauma it's like a something fingers that he ended up having to swallow because he was going to have to end up getting killed anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm literally on, like, episode 10 right now. <laughs> Yeah. So what what anime do y'all watch though? I 
right now I'm watching Black Butler, Blue Exorcist, Assassination Classroom, Black Clover, Demon Slayer, Hunter Hunter, and Fruit Basket, as well as uh No, nah, that's about it. Fruit Basket. So oh, Christine, and Tokyo Ghoul. What, what, what you watching? <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm starting Demon Slayer, and I'm watching Academia. Those are my two. Okay. I've already finished my series. I was on uh, Goku's series, but I'm done. Y'all making me want to try it out. I haven't, uh, I don't really watch it, but I would try it. Man, try it out. I don't already watch Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, and then I watched Demon yeah. Slayer. And it just seemed like ever since I watched Naruto Shippuden, it seemed like nothing can top Naruto. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna find something else coming up. I love you so darn. So it took me through <laughs> the ringer. That was so many emotions. You feel me? But guys, y'all hit the like, hit the sub, follow these beautiful ladies, man. No cap. We out, man. <laughs> Gang. I, I